Hey everyone, this is Tappers here again, and welcome to another Let's Play of the Kirby franchise. Or, well, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have spoiled it, because even if it's from hell, I mean, for all we know, it could have been Smash Bros. for the GBA, but no, come on, it's not. Uh, this is Nightmare in Dreamland, created December 2002 by, well, HAL Laboratories of Nintendo. Uh, this is a remake of the 93 NES... Uh, classic Kirby's Adventure, but considering this is a remake, and this is actually the one I'm playing instead of Adventure because, well, it's got all these sub-games, yo. Well, we've we've got sub-games in both games, but I just like this game a little more because I have more nostalgic memories with it, and more history with it, as I should say. Um, but the main reason, well, okay, it, it's not even a main reason that'll be obvious, is because Kirby gets hats in this game. No, it, 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 that's kind of a petty reason, but um, I played this more as a kid than I did Adventure, even though I did watch some friends play this at one time when I was, like, in grade school. But, I mean, I don't have as much memories with this GBA remake, but... Regardless, um, welcome to Vegetable Valley, which I didn't exactly say in the intro because I think I was too distracted by how cute the artwork and the graphics are in this game. I mean, I love Kirby Sprite, the overlay looks nice, the Wild Ds have a lot more flavor to them as we spit out stars like we do. We eat a hothead, I don't even remember what his name is. It is, yeah, it's a hothead. And he gives us the firepower, which we actually have never gotten before because we've gotten the uh, burning power instead, which I think we saw not that long ago from the flamers, which are back in this game too, of course. We did Kirby's Dream Land 2 first before we did anything else, so there is that. But we also had the beam power, which I didn't mention, it's just a beam and not much else, from the Wild Dews, who finally give a power in uh, these games. Or, they had. But, anyway, this is the uh, bomb minigame, which... Now, I should mention that Kirby's Adventure and Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland do have some uh, interesting differences. Not only are, well, NES versus GBA, but we also have some new minigames. This bomb game was not in the NES. Instead, it was one where I think Kirby had to eat some food and avoid eating bombs. And then, depending on how you do, you get uh, one-ups. And Kirby, well... The better or worse he does, he's sad, or he's really happy, or he's angry, I should say. Um, uh, anyway, speaking of, well, angry, uh, Nightmare in Dreamland is the game that starts a trend, for the most part, uh, kind of a meme that goes on with Kirby, and that being uh, what people call Kirby is hardcore, or I guess you, should, you could say... Um, angry American Kirby or something like that because notably ever since Nightmare in Dreamland there's been some box art differences where the uh, Japanese box arts have uh, Kirby as his usual personality of being naive happy and go lucky whatever you want to call it but um, for whatever reason the American box arts have him as being angry or trying to be edgy I guess I don't even know but the only real exceptions are Kirby Superstar Ultra Epic Yarn and debatably Mass Attack it's kind of hard to say there's still some Kirby games I've never played like Squeak Squad and Mass Attack but that's besides the point uh one thing I do like about this game, maybe compared to some of these others, is that you see that sliding down animation. That's really nice to see because it just gives Kirby a lot more personality when he's like sliding down and all that other stuff with the strut and more frames of animation. Don't ask me about frames, I don't know anything. But we have the sword power up, which is probably one of the more iconic power ups in the game, which we didn't, we don't see in Kirby Dreamland 2 because, well, they had a limited assortment, most of which are in this game. But yeah, also, uh, 
I don't know if that's a tiling graphical error. Um, I should mention that I am playing this on the Wii U as I've got this for the virtual console. So I'm for I fortunately do not have to emulate this. Also, I really like his sliding down animation, especially with the sword, but that's pretty cool. But yeah, the burning power-up, in case we didn't use it before, it works about the same as before, and fortunately it doesn't have the issue of, um, the, re uh, what is it, the uh, charge-up time? I don't even know. Oh, the cooldown period, I should probably say, where sometimes the more you use it, the weaker it gets after time, and you just need to let it be or something, I don't even know. But... Also, we get some other cool animations. Well, actually, no. It had in Kirby's Dream Land, too. Like, Kirby, if he gets hit by the Sparky... Vir no, just the Sparky. He just kind of explodes into a ball of... Uh, electric explosion or something like that. But... Oh, and I also never uh, paid mention to this, but we also have the Rocket minigame, which you can get some stuff from. It... It's only points or one-ups if you get to the top. So that's pretty much all you're playing for is one-ups or points if you care for a score. But one thing that is true to both games is that there's a museum. So that's pretty cool if you want a free power-up to kind of go ahead. But I don't want it because we have a special friend that awaits us yet again. Or we are now being for the first time depending on timeline continuity or whatever. Mr. Frosty, one of the only mini bosses that's in this and Dreamland 2, as I'm pretty sure the others aren't here. So there's no uh, Fuzzy Pyro, there's no Ninja Cutter, there's no Paracel uh, Jump Shooter that's going to ambush us. Well, that doesn't even matter. But, yep, Mr. Frosty's still great. And he gives us the Freeze Power, which is a little different from Ice. Yep, spoiler, it's actually in this game. Um, freeze does kind of like what some of the Animal Buddies in 2 did, where they just kind of surround themselves in a freezer, in a way. While Ice just shoots kind of forward. So, I kind of like Freeze. Um, speaking of power-ups, uh, this late bu or beetle enemy, uh, apparently gives the needle power-up. Um, I apologize right now, um, you will not be seeing me use the needle power-up, and this isn't because I hate it, it's because I messed up really badly because I thought I grabbed it, but I never did in a previous test playthrough, so that's kind of a shame. Also didn't mention anything about the invincibility candy, but yeah, it made its appearance in the uh, adventure game. So grab that and just plow through all the enemies you can. But speaking of enemies, we've got a familiar friend, Wispy Woods. And he's a little more colorful, animated and all that. He's got his apples, which uh, I thought bounced more, but I guess it only bounces once because I guess they're somehow sentient to know to roll into you or something I, I don't even know but yeah i kind of like having the freeze power up just so i can push ice block or i'm sorry ice frozen apples into them but kind of sucks i can't hit him with the air bolts happen but you can plow through bosses with power-ups but i tend to like take my time depending on who it is and somehow i completely miss the ice block but it doesn't matter Wispy Woods is frozen today, the place is frozen over, and next time we'll be going to uh, stage two. <laughs>